Welcome to wisnotes.com Mathematics of Video Tutorials. This tutorial is on relations, functions, and graphs. And more specifically, we'll be looking at drawing the graphs of quadratic functions. So let's begin. For this tutorial, we'll be looking at drawing the graph of the quadratic function x squared minus 2x minus 3. And we'll be looking at the domain x is greater than or equal to minus 2 less than or equal to 4. Now right here we have the points listed and let's recap how we got these points. The procedure is when drawing the graph of a quadratic function we substitute the values in the domain which are the x values into the equation 4x and the value that we obtain will be the corresponding y values. So for example, for the domain value minus 2, what we did was to substitute minus 2 in the equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 and we substituted minus 2 for x. So wherever we see an x in the equation, we put minus 2. And that gave us minus 2 squared minus 2 times minus 2 minus 3. And that gave us minus 2 times minus 2, that's 4, right? 4 and minus 2 times minus 2, that's another 4, so that's plus 4. And that is minus 3. So that is 4 plus 4, that is 8. 8 minus 3, that is 5. So that is how we got the corresponding 5 value in the points right here, the y value. So all these values are x, all these values are y. And that's how we got all the y values you see right here. We substituted each of the x values into the equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 for x and the, amount, the value that we got is the corresponding y values. So let's start plotting our points on the graph. When plotting the points on the graph, we firstly find the x value. So that's the value on the x axis. So for the first point, the x value is minus 2. Then we find the corresponding y value, which is 5. And we put an x to note the point. And we do the same thing for all the points. So we find minus 1 and 0. And that is right here. So we put an x. And we find 0 and minus 3. That's right here. So it's 0 on the x-axis, minus 3 on the y-axis. Put an x right there. Then 1 and minus 4, so that's 1 on the x-axis, minus 4 on the y-axis, put an x right there. Then 2 and minus 3, same procedure, put our x. Then 3 and 0, 3 on the x-axis, 0 on the y-axis, put an x. Then 4 and, my, and 5, that's 4 on the x-axis, 5 on the y-axis, and we put our x. The next step is to join these points with a smooth curve, which is known as a parabola. So we're drawing the points with as smooth a curve as we can draw. And that is the graph of the function. So let's join them. And this is the graph of the quadratic function x squared minus 3x minus 2x, sorry, minus 3. And that is how you draw the graph of a quadratic function. Thank you for watching this installment of wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials.